In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good morning, everyone. The church today celebrates the feast of St. Pontian Pope and Hippolytus, priests, martyrs. This Mass is also offered to pray for all souls in purgatory and also for the soul of Mr. Tommy Dykes, the uh, Redemptive alumni just passed away recently. And so we uh, gather together our thoughts, especially our Thanksgiving, because if not, we become that ungrateful man in the gospel today. And so I'd like you to think one or two things that you want to be grateful to God and to one another today. And so at this moment, let us ask God for mercy that God always has given us. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have felt to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. I also want to mention the, the people that I pray recently. is the benefactors, the donors, the friends, parishioners who built this church this community, the school, these days that we're using. So keep all this in our petition. Let us pray. May the precious long suffering of the just, O Lord, we pray, bring us a great increase of love for you and always prompt in our hearts constancy in the holy faith to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Please be seated to listen to the Word of God. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The word of the Lord came to me, Son of man, you live in the midst of a rebellious house. They have eyes to see, but do not see, and ears to hear, but do not hear. For they are a rebellious house. Now, Son of man, during the day while they are looking on, prepare your baggage as the though for exile, and again, while they are looking on, migrate from where you live to another place. Perhaps they will see that they are a rebellious house. You shall bring out your baggage like an exile in the daytime while they are looking on, in the evening again while they are looking on. You shall go out like one of those driven into exile. While they look on, dig a hole in the wall and pass through it. While they look on, shoulder the burden and set out in the darkness. Cover your face that you may not see the land. For I have made you a sign for the house of Israel. I did as I was told. During the day, I brought out my baggage as though it were there for an exile. And at evening, I dug a hole through the wall with my hand. And while they looked on, set out in the darkness, shouldering my burden. Then in the morning, the word of the Lord came to me, Son of man, 
did not the house of Israel, that rebellious house, ask you what you were doing? Tell them. Thus says the Lord God, this oracle concerns Jerusalem and the whole house of Israel within it. I am a sign for you. As I have done, so shall it be done to them. As captives they shall go into exile. The prince who is among them shall shoulder their burden and set out in darkness, going through a hole he has dug out in the wall and covering his face, lest he be seen by everyone, by anyone. The word of the Lord. Respondorial Psalm. Do not forget the works of the Lord. Do not forget the works of the Lord. They tempted and rebelled against God the Most High, and kept not his decrees. They turned back and were faithless like their fathers. They recoiled like a treacherous boat. Do not forget the works of the Lord. They angered him with their high places, and with their idols roused his jealousy. God heard what was, God heard and was enraged, and utterly rejected Israel. Do not forget the works of the Lord. And he surrendered his strength into captivity, his glory in the hands of the folk. He abandoned his people to the sword and was enraged against his inheritance. Do not forget the words of the Lord. Alleluia. Let your countenance shine upon your servant and teach me your statutes. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Peter approached Jesus and asked him, Lord, if my brother sins against me, how often must I forgive him? As many as seven times? Jesus answered, I say to you, not seven times, but seventy-seven times. That is why the kingdom of heaven might be likened to a king who decided to settle account with his servants. When he began the accounting, the debtor was brought before him who owed him a huge amount. Since he had no way of paying it back, his master ordered him to be so. Along with his wife, his children, and all his property in payment of the debt. At that, the servant fell down did him homage and said, Be patient with me, and I will pay you back in full. Moved with compassion, the master of that servant, let him go and forage and forgive him the loan. When that servant had left, he found one of his fellow servants who owed him a much smaller amount. He seized him and started to choke him, demanding, Pay back what you owe. Falling to his knees, his fellow servant begged him, Be patient with me, and I will pay you back. But he refused. Instead, he had the fellow servant put in prison until he paid back the debt. Now, when his fellow servants saw what had happened, they were deeply disturbed and went to their master and reported the whole affair. His master summoned him and said to him, You wicked servant, I forgave you your entire debt because you begged me too. Should you not have had pity on your fellow servant, 
as I had pity on you. Then in anger his master handed him over to the torturers until he should pay back the whole debt. So will my heavenly Father do to you unless each of you forgives his brother from his heart? When Jesus finished these words, he left Galilee and went to the district of Judea across the Jordan. The Gospel of the Lord. Forgiveness. How many times do I have to forgive my brothers? Seven times? Or, s or more than just seven times? Seventy times seven. You know, these days the government gave us the PPP. The PPP loan is with the intention is forgiveness. You don't have to pay back. We, St. Alphonse, St. Jared here, received that PPP. Maybe we think that that's absolutely, that's of course for the government, that's their job, their responsibility to take care of us. It's true. But if we're not careful, we become that, like that wicked servant. And for me though, when somebody call you wicked, that's a very strong word. But I call him ungrateful servant. Maybe a little bit better. But I think ungrateful, even that, is very harsh. And I find ungratefulness it could be the root of a lot of sins, the root of a lot of problems. Think about it. That ungrateful servant, right after being forgiven by the master, turned around, choked his, his, his brother, whatever you call that person, violently put him in a prison, maybe beat him, curse him, and do all kinds of threats. And that will bring to a stress level, uneasiness, can't sleep, you name it. And we experience that so much in our society today. I have to say that we have a lot of ungrateful people in our society, in our, in our community, or whatever you call in our world today. And because of that ungratefulness, I feel like we can easily judge one another. We can easily forget, like the response to our psalm today, remember the good work of the Lord. We forget the good work of the Lord. We forget the good works of one another. And so, what do we learn from today? Every time we come to Mass, Mass is a Thanksgiving Mass. I don't want to say stop asking more, but maybe we have to give in thanks more. Start saying, God, thank you very much. Because I believe that grateful person somehow increases a lot of virtues. Think about it. If you are a grateful person, you become a very easy, prayerful person. If we are a very grateful person, we become a very patient person. If we are a grateful person, we, we have a lot of friends. We don't have enemies even. But if we are ungrateful, we see everything is so competitive, so pragmatic, if you will. This is yours, this is mine, and we don't appreciate it enough. And so we pray today that we continue to be grateful, especially for ourselves here. And then hopefully we pray so that we spread that gratefulness. That gratefulness will create a lot of happiness, healthiness, and also holiness. And so I'd like to invite you to think a little bit today. Before you go to bed today, 
come up with three grateful, three people in your life that you want to be grateful for. And maybe ask God to bless them for you. Amen. Let us now stand and just raise a few tension, even our thanks. First, I want to thank God for so many people in my life personally and also in this community as St. Jared and the school. So many praying for us right now. They wish us every day to be safe, to be prosperous, to increase more parishioners, more holiness, ministries, everything that they continue to be blessed by God. We pray to the Lord. We pray for ourselves today that we are grateful people, that wherever we do, whatever we say, come from gratitude, come from grateful mind and grateful heart. We pray to the Lord. What else shall we pray this morning? Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our government today, our leaders, our president, congressmen, senators, lawmakers, our bishop here, all those people who make big decisions that affect so many common good people, that they continue to be guided by the Holy Spirit and also guided by the love, the love of God and the love of humanity. We pray to the Lord. We also pray for the intention of this Mass, for all the benefactors, and for our friends, and especially for Mr. Tommy Dykes, who just passed away. All souls in purgatory, we pray to the Lord. Loving and gracious God, we thank you for giving us this day again to experience your beauty and your grace. Help us to be grateful as you are grateful. We ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of our creation. Through your goodness, we have received this bread to offer you. Food of the earth, and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Yes, ma'am. Blessed are you, Lord God of our creation. To your goodness, we have received this wine to offer you food of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us the spiritual drink. Yes, Blessed be God. God. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. Be pleased, O Lord, to accept the offerings of your church, for in your mercy you have given them to be offered, and by your power you transform them into the mystery of our salvation through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, 
For in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, joy with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy thou for these gifts, we pray, by sending thou your spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it, and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be guided into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Michael Gerard, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Tommy Dykes, whom you have called today from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in a hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, Saint Jared, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs of eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Every time we pray, our Father, we remember that God already forgave us so many times. And so we need to release our forgiveness as well toward one another especially our best enemies of today. And so let us now open and ask God for more courage to do so. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from our distress, as we await the blessed hope 
and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the fate of the church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us share with each other the sigh of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, bring to us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, Blessed are those who call to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. meaning and to form. The bread that I will give you, says the Lord, is my flesh for the life of the world. Let us pray. May the communion in your sacrament that we have consumed save us, O Lord, and confirm us in the light of your truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. Just a reminder, tonight is Thursday. We have the wood made flesh at 5.30 in the Paris Hall. Thank you very much. And thank you, uh, I think we have Ms. Fairchild is here. Welcome back and uh, keep praying for us. She had a 
wonderful ministry in the Diocese for Development Office. So pray for her as she continues to work for the Diocese. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace.